<clears throat> so far, so good. Reason I'm doing this, I've always sat with bad slouch posture. I edit video all day in a horrible position. My whole life have have kind of been like this. You know, I'm doing all this self-improvement stuff. May, might as well try to improve my posture. It's supposed to be good for you. Please, allow me to interrupt myself. What is good posture? Well, for sitting, back straight, shoulders back, buttocks on the back of the chair, but not if you're on the toilet. Knees at a right angle. There we go, feet flat on the floor. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> And for standing, just kind of straighten her out, okay? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Google it. As you work, you know, it's a little bit of soreness in some back muscles that I didn't normally use before, but it's not really that bad. It's just hard to remember. Like, I'll be down here, like, editing, like, whoa, gotta do this. So now we skipped a little bit ahead to day 26. Also, new office. We moved. Yay! So basically, I spent every day trying to have good posture. Sometimes I'd forget, sometimes I wouldn't. Good story, bro. That's not to say I didn't learn things. I also inspired, what's her name? China, my wife. Do you pay attention to your posture? I'm trying to be better about it now, especially now that you've started doing this. See, I did a good thing for once. China, tell me a story. When I was in fifth grade, I started playing the violin. You have to have good mm -hmm. posture. So you have to sit up straight with your feet flat on the floor. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you can't toodle-loo. You can't toodle -loo, loo without good posture. And if a man can't toodle his loo loos what can you toodle? Anyway, how you feel now, China? Since I graduated high school, I feel like slowly through the years. <laughs> So she thinks her posture is getting worse. But you know what? Is it even a bad thing? I think day one Craig seems to know the answer. It's supposed to be good for you. Ah, all right, what do you know? Tell me. Oh, you mean I jumped into this without knowing anything? Fine, I'll do the research myself. <clears throat> Cue music. According to they, Bad posture can bend your spine in terrible ways, give you back pain, mess up your muscles, your beautiful, beautiful muscles, compress your abdomen, ruining your meal before you even get to eat the folded up beef string, impair your circulation and respiratory functions, and probably other terrible things. Maybe not though? So a lot of these issues are long term, and I'm not gonna know if I've improved them for many years or until I'm dead. But with regard to pain, I notice a pretty significant difference. I sit on the floor with our daughter a lot and everything, and we're mm -hmm. like coloring and stuff. I hurt a lot if I like slouch down versus if I'm sitting up straight. I think I've been slouching for most of my life. I don't notice that it's painful. But is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really noticed much physical improvement. It has only been a short time, and it's not like I'm a posture denier like my dad. Posture smaster! Leave smash alone! They're a YouTube insta intuition. I'm saying anyone who peddles posture is an imposter. It's preposterous! I'd rather you were a flat earther than a round backer. Listen, angel face. I've been slouching my whole stupid life, and I've never felt better. Well, you make some good points. My demeanor has never been meaner. I'm listening. When I hobble down the street, they all say, Hunchback, I'm going to damn! Hey and the earth is flat. Nope. Okay. My parents, I, they continue to be related to me. Now, to thank our sponsor. You ever think your bucks aren't swaggy enough? Well, Swagbucks has a thing or two to say about that. Swagbucks is a place to make and save money right from home at your standing desk. You can earn spending cash, or as I like to call it, swash, by taking swerves, watching swideos, or playing swames. And in exchange, you get gift cards from lots of places like, I'm not gonna list them all. Guys, sign up with this link, which I will also put in the doobly-doo, and you get $5 off just for signing up. It's true. I did it myself, and I ordered a bunch of stuff, and they all came in standing desks. Thanks, Swagbucks, for sponsoring this video. Sponsoring this video. Legally, I might have to say it that way. But there is another issue besides the physical effects of posture, and I talked about it on day four. Skipped over it until now, because relevant now. It might be psychosomatic, but I feel more confident, more in control. Oh, do you? You know what? Cue music. They also say it can affect your mood, make you feel less stressed or depressed, though she might just need new glasses, or more confident. What does they really know anyway? I could quote they all day. Source that really matters is me. And I have to say, I agree with Day 4 Craig. Day 4 Craig is a very credible source as far as I'm concerned, despite not framing out that ceiling fan and cleaning up that clutter and doing that weird jaunty dance he's doing right now. Good posture kinda does change how confident I feel. Yes, I'm wearing a different shirt now. We're on day 28. But I didn't feel that way at first. At first, 
It felt kind of weird. Like, who is this jerk who thinks he can walk around all proud and jerk? I guess it goes against what I normally think of myself, which is jokey, sarcastic, modest, trying to hide from ridicule. And slouching goes along with that, rather than standing tall, where you can be seen and someone can more easily throw a rock at your face. That was just at first, but after a while, I actually started to feel the way that standing tall projects. Which brings up another issue other than how it makes you feel, how others perceive you, which is something I can't really measure other than asking my wife. You look good. You might be overcorrecting a little right now. Like, confident, taller, in control, and decisive. See, body language is something that I never really paid much attention to. I mean, I don't think that most people are paying attention to it, but I think mm -hmm. it's just something that you intuitively pick up on. Which is all the more reason to pay attention to your posture because you could be giving off ideas about yourself that really aren't true. Before I said that I'm slouchy because I'm sarcastic and jokey and modest, but it can give off other unintentional signals too. They could think maybe you're tired. You're not in the moment, whatever moment it is. You're disinterested in what's going on, lacking in self-confidence. And true, sometimes I can be a tired old man or completely bored by whatever it is you're talking about or lacking self-confidence but not always, and I don't want people to automatically think that. And as they say, bad posture could be a cause of some of those things. I don't know if that's true, but from my experience, it seems like it might be. A little bit. Sorry. <clears throat> a little bit. I don't know why I changed the tone of my voice, too. I talked with a low voice for a month. Here's what happened. Interesting video idea. Sorry. <clears throat> Interesting video idea. Or maybe the posture itself isn't the cause, but my preconceived ideas of how people view my posture is the cause. Okay, we're getting in the weeds. So, should you try to have good posture? Well, I think yes. Well, don't break your back over it. It's not really feasible to have like super excellent posture all the time because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, you're like lounging on the couch, watching mm -hmm. TV. You don't want to be like sitting up on the couch like... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Lean back and like slouch down. Well, they also say that you're not supposed to be in the same position for more than like 30 minutes. Yeah, what's that about? They say you're supposed to have good posture but not be in the same position for 30 minutes. So then what do you do? You just go like this after 30 minutes. Different posture. Different posture. It's probably not good for the neck. I'm going to stay like this for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the spousal banter. Too funny. Well, another thing you could do if you work at a desk is get a standing desk. It's got a brand new one, state of the art. Works great. Another big challenge I had for the month was remembering to do it. I would always forget that I was supposed to have good posture. So, one thing you can do is put up a picture on the wall. Wish I would have done that. That would have been a great, that would have been really helpful. Another tip I came across on the internet was have a friend, or a stranger, put strips of tape on your back so that when you slouch, it pulls. I found lots of other tips on this site. You can check out https colon slash slash www google.com. In conclusion, new shirt, glasses, day 30. All in all, I don't notice a giant physical improvement, but I do notice a mild physical improvement, and I notice a mood improvement. I feel more confident, and I might have a little bit more energy, but this could all be placebo effect. Who knows? And it certainly helped reduce back pain for my wife, although the biggest pain in the back is this guy right here. <laughs> And also long term, they say it will be good for you. Although I've also found other they saying that a straight back is not necessarily all it's cracked up to be. Over on the Beard Lover subreddit, many of you say that in your experience, good posture has really helped you. But this person expressed doubt that I could make a whole video about it. What up? But then this person defended me saying that I made a whole video about the phrase awesome possum. Actually, it's everything is possum, but thank you for defending me. That video may be my masterpiece. A possum? Give it a give it a! Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of it! Though now kind of ruined because annotations went away. Anyway, if it turns out that good posture is good for you in the long term, that works well for my long term goals. Yeah, I just want to live long enough so that I'm around when they defeat aging and then uh, we live forever. And I become the all seeing, all knowing space baby at the center of the universe. I just want to live long enough so that I can be around when they recreate the Harry Potter movies and I can see the fourth one actually be good. Oh, oh, oh gauntlet thrown. I was disappointed. And I truly do believe that the way that we carry ourselves does affect how others perceive us. Whether that means we should change the way we look to appease others, or others should just get over it and not judge people that they don't know. In fact, maybe they should just not judge people that they do know that much anyway. Get over it! <clears throat> Regardless, judge is gonna judge. So maybe we should just let here nows be here nows and, you know, work on our posture a little bit. That has been my experience with my month of good posture. Hey, thanks for watching! Here's a playlist of other month-long challenges. YouTube thinks you'll like that video. I do a week daily vlog, secret, just for patrons, over there. Guess it's not secret, but it's just for patrons. Subscribe!
sit up straight. Or don't. Whatever you want to do. Or whatever you want to don't. It's my prerogative. Your, your prerogative.